Welcome back, folks, to Fishing Planet. I'm Super Dave, and today I'm going to show you guys how to catch the rip saw at Maku Maku Lake, Peru. And uh, you guys are going to want to be at the boat landing. These are the setups that you can use. Now, honestly, anything 4.0 to 6.0 is going to work, and anything that you normally catch catfish is going to work. Now, I generally will use frogs more for these guys. That seems what uh, they do like. Um, and Unlike the sorbum, these are going to be a little bit easier to catch in most cases. And actually, they really do like the crankbaits. And the glow-in-the-dark will work during the day. However, these do bite really well at night. Just keep in mind with crankbaits and topwater, I generally use a sore reel than, like, for example, the spot reel that I normally use. And I just pull it in straight on one speed. So I'll just pull it in straight and... Uh, you know go pretty slow if you're using a full pole go max depth uh, or get as close to the bottom as you can the unique thing about these sorbums is they are a little bit different than most catfish them in the flat whiskered as we'll come down here and i'll show you where to go these and the flat whiskered they don't have to be out real far so for example you're gonna see here uh we have a rip saw mark right here that you can cast to if you want that's one of my favorite spots but also if you want to go ahead and use that crankbait you can see just casting straight out from the boat dock is fine and and they'll bite all the way up to the boat dock and if you want another spot if you're a person that needs a sorbum as well you can go to the top island and get the sorbum unique sorbum and the uh, uni rip saw at the same time and again it is up there if you want to pause these marks you can to go ahead and put them on your map again rip saw kind of a weird catfish it doesn't have to necessarily be in the deep water but you do uh, want to be towards the bottom when you do fish for them anyway you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you next time folks have a good one